welcome to Prime News. Now a look at the headlines. Aditu Sahib, last rites of Gopinath Munde at Parli village. CM Parikar with other ministers pays tributes in Bid. Kalsa Kanal work complete in all domains. Monitoring committee expresses satisfaction during their Wednesday visit. Report to tribunal by 6 June. Jittery Power Department struggles to come back to normalcy after Monday night storm. Power cuts up to 20 hours at many places. People criticize department's functioning. Goa government should take a cue from Orissa government and start mining in Goa. Orissa government resumes captive mines in spite of Supreme Court order safe Femi. And Sports Minister Ramesh Tawadkar drops out even as Goan politicians plan to visit Brazil for FIFA World Cup. Now news in details. Adito Sahib, last rites of BJP leader and Union Minister Munde was performed at Bead Village in Latur on Wednesday afternoon. Lacks of supporters and well-wishers of Munde family gathered to witness the funeral. Goa's Chief Minister Manohar Parikar along with other ministers also attended the funeral. Along with other ministers witnesses the funeral. Parikar said, with the nation Goa too is shocked with the untimely death of Gopinath Munde. Bureau report prudent. Monitoring committee appointed by Madhai Tribunal has confirmed that Kalsa Canal work has been complete in all spheres. Committee will submit its work completion report to the tribunal by 6 June. Committee visited Kanakumbi site on Wednesday to have a final look at the concrete blockade. Environmentalist Rajendra Kerkar has cautioned Karnataka to fill in the excavations near Mauli Temple as it poses danger to the temple. Madhai Tribunal had earlier ordered Karnataka government to construct a concrete blockade over the Kalsa Canal to stop the Madhai water gushing into Kalsa Canal. The deadline set for constructing the wall was 31st May. Monitoring committee on Wednesday again visited the site at Kankumbi to have a final look. Committee is satisfied with the work. Committee will submit its work completion report on 6 June to the Madhai Water Dispute Tribunal. The uh, order dated 17th April 2014, uh, we have inspected and we have found that work is as per the order. I, all things are completed and we are submitting the report to the tribunal, the registrar of the tribunal in the first week of June, at the mostly on 6th of uh, June 2014. The excavated area near Mauli Temple is not yet covered. Environmentalist Rajendra Kerkar slammed Karnataka government as excavation poses a heavy danger to the temple, especially in the wake of upcoming monsoons. 
कुंभी गावांक ज्यो समस्या सामोरे वचपाच्यो आसा त्या समस्या मात्र कमी करपा खातीर कर्नाटकान कांच लेगीत पावलां उचलूंक ना ना म्हणल्यार म्हादई म्हणजे माऊलीचे जे देवळ आसा त्या माऊलीच्या देवळाचे थोडेशे दुरुस्तीचे कामकाज जे आसा ते कर्नाटकान पुराय केल्ले आसा आनी बाकीचो जो परिसर आसा त्या बाकीच्या परिसराक ह्या पावसान व्हडली संकटां निर्माण जावंक शकता तर त्याच नदरेंतल्यान कर्नाटक नियरावरी निगमान लक्ष दिवप खूप गरजेचे आसा उदय परब फॉर प्रुडंट Monday night storm was devastating. North Goa faced hours of power cut as trees crashed down on electricity poles at many places. Power cuts went up to 8 to 10 hours. Blackout in Bichilim and Pardes was nearly 20 hours. Electricity department suffered loss worth 30 lakhs rupees. People are quizzed how situation in power department is going to dogs despite of power cuts taken in the month of May for pre-monsoon repair works. State Electricity Department is limping back to normalcy after the devastating Monday night storm. There were power cuts in many talukas. Most of the parts in North Goa were engulfed in darkness. Power department could restore power in all affected areas on Tuesday evening. Trees were uprooted, electricity poles had collapsed, cables were cut. Power cuts went up up to 8 to 20 hours. Power department suffered loss of 30 lakh rupees. In Bardes, power failure at 60 to 70 places. Power supply through ring feeder as temporary provision. Low voltage power supply irritated consumers. Many areas faced 18 hours power cut. Loss worth 8 lakh rupees in Bardes. And in Padne, 30% of Padne was under darkness. Power supplied through ring feeder. 19 hours power cut at many places. Loss worth 7 lakh 70 thousand rupees. In Bicholi Sattari, Ladfe and Kurchide were highly affected. 20 hours power cut at Ladfe and 12 hours power cut at Kurchide. Loss worth 10 lakh rupees. In Tiswadi, major problem at Ribandar feeder. Tiswadi powerless for 8 hours. Loss worth 4 lakh rupees. Electricity department has undertaken pre-monsoon works in the month of May. Still, a single downpour has exposed the deficiency of the department. When we asked executive engineer, he claimed that pre-monsoon works has saved the day for department, otherwise things would have been worst. Monsoon work, that is regular maintenance what we are doing. If that monsoon work is not done, then there won't be continuously supply for days together. Even we can say weeks together there may not be supply. Interruption period will prolong. Uh, damages what is occurring will be more than. No, what we are, whatever material we are using, it is of as per specification. highest standard materials we are using material quality material only we are using executive engineer vargis has appealed people to dial 135 for any kind of complaint or query related to power cuts and its resumption time vargis said this number will be changed in future to 1912 and it will be intimated to the general public all center is there 135 anybody can contact any time that number also we are going to change now internationally uh, all over india that 1912 number is there very shortly we will shift to that number as and when any breakdown takes place approximate resumption time we will assess from the field engineers and we will inform through 135 this is what executive engineer has to say in department's defense but the fact is people are losing faith and are highly upset with the power department the rage towards the department is gradually rising power goes off 10 to 12 times a day at a time it is not restored for hours and on the top scorching summer heat is making thing worse during night when power goes off suddenly without any guarantee of coming back senior reporter laukik shilkar with video journalist rushidas chari for prudent in a fatal accident devendra kalangudkar died on the spot an unknown vehicle hit the motorbike at morlem sattari on wednesday afternoon devendra kalangudkar's hand got amputated and he succumbed to injuries The pillion rider has suffered previous injuries and is undergoing treatment at Sakri Health Center. Deceased hails from Vasco and the pillion rider Sagar Karmali from Taregaon. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 